I am the ultimate man, the ultimate being. I'm better than you, I'm better than your friends. You all should bask in my glory. Learn my name, know my name, and realize this, none of you will ever be as cool as me. Behold! Greatness! I am the ultimate man! The man that is better than all of you and all of your friends! I am the Ultraman Trey Tackett! The greatest wrestler to ever hail from Flin Flon, Manitoba! My name is Trey Tackett. I am from Marshall County, Kentucky. And I have been wrestling for old school wrestling for the past seven years now. I play the Ultraman which is, you know, the ultimate man, the man greater than every other man. And he's also just a huge colossal dick. I basically come out here and try to piss these people off, really. That, that's, that's my goal in life, is to make these people just as angry as possible. Trey Ultraman sucks. He always has and he always will. He'll never make it anywhere in this business. I think he needs to go back to Canada where he came from. Cheating, doing stuff behind the ref's back, insulting people. It's very therapeutic in a way. And I can have a totally bad day and, and I can go old wrestling and get paid to tell everybody that they suck. It, it's wonderful. It, there is no better stress relief in life than that. And I get paid for it. A heel is essentially the villain. They are the guy that goes around and ruins the fun for everyone else. They go out there and punch a good guy in the face when the ref isn't looking. They use brass knuckles or basically just go out there and make life miserable for everyone else. But you are all scum! Pond scum! You're like little maggots crawling up from the ground! I'm the giant boot that just comes out and crushes you in the faces. I prefer being a heel, and I've actually heard this from a lot of people. They also prefer being a heel because being a heel, you don't really have to think about what you're doing other than, will this make people angry? With a face, you gotta, with being a good guy, you gotta really think, okay, would a good guy do this, or would a good guy avoid doing that? Would they hit them when they're down, or would they you know, let them get back up to their feet? Well, the heel is like, they're down, kick them in the head! It is a lot easier being a heel than it is a face, and I know many people will tell you the same thing. Put your man for a kick ass! No matter what you do, there are always going to be people that go against the grain. If you go out there and just you know, slaughter you know, innocent lies, there's still going to be those few guys in the crowd that are going to be like, Yeah, alright, that's awesome! Do it again! While the rest of the people around them are going, You guys are crazy, why are you cheering for this guy? So I'm really not bothered by it, I, it makes me laugh. And it doesn't happen that often with me, but when it does, it's really easy. Trey is one of them unique kind of people. I tell you what, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't give you 10 cents for Trey, but I wouldn't take a million dollars for him either. He is, he, when Trey walked through the door and started to train, he's probably one that I didn't think would last two weeks training. I didn't think he'd ever make it, but I tell you what, he hung, 
There was no quit in him. He hung in there with the training, and I tell you what, he's one of the best. He's one of the better guys I've got as far as entertaining. Trey is a entertainer. There's some guys that are technical wrestlers, and there's some guys that are entertainers. Trey is a entertainer. He can take that crowd, and he can just entertain them from one end to the other. Jamie Phillips is the owner of Old School Wrestling and one of the guys that first created the company. He is a terrific guy and when I first went to Old School, he was the first person I talked to. He told me about what their mission was and what they had planned to do and what they had accomplished so far. And My time there, he has been one of the most encouraging people that I, I know. Jamie has the advantage over everyone at Old School by being literally the hometown hero. When Old School first started, he lived about half a block away from the arena. So everybody that was coming to the show knew him. They, they knew what he was like. They knew, knew he was just a great guy to be around. So when you're in the match with him, you're, you're screwed. You're, you're pretty much dealing with Superman. Anytime you work with Trey, it is hard not to laugh. It's hard not to, but he, he's just so un unorthodox. I mean, you think he's going to hit you and he'll wind up kicking you. You think he's going to kick you and he'll poke you in the eyes. He just, he's just really entertaining to work. He's got this Ultraman gimmick that I think gets him to the T. I mean, he's just as goofy as Ultraman is. This guy is like a comic book character. <laughs> that's, that's all you can really say about him. You just look at him and you think this guy belongs in a comic book or a video game, right? Uh, you can just expect a lot of eye gouges and hair pulls. He's a very technical wrestler, I guess you could say. You know, I mean, I'm not much of a wrestler. I'm just a DJ, but I've got to say that uh, I couldn't ask for somebody better to get in there with me who doesn't have a lot of experience. I would say that there is about four people who had a major influence on the character of the Ultraman. The first would be Chris Jericho, who was, if you remember when he was working at WCW, it was just this guy who just complained about anything that went wrong. If he lost a match, he'd find a way to get it reversed because obviously that person was cheating against him. And just throw temper tantrums and fits and just cause problems for everybody around him. Uh, second influence would be Jimmy Hart. Even though he wasn't really a wet wrestler per se, he was there and had a ring presence. And he'd be outside the ring, just you know, spazzing, screaming at you know the crowd. He'd have that mega aura, hey! and just all over the place. He's like he's like a kid on a sugar rush. And that's kind of the way I am out when I try to be outside the ring. The last two people I would say would be Owen Hart, because of the stories I had heard about the way he was in the ring, that he would have fun with it, even when you know, it was supposed to be a super serious match, he'd find a way to it. And that's just a good way to be. You don't want to take yourself too seriously at the point that you forget that while you're, yes, you're there to entertain, it's not very good entertainment unless you yourself are having fun with it. And, but I would also say that the biggest influence, though, is Andy Kaufman. As I, I've always been a fan of his comedy, or you know, if you call it comedy, and how you're out with this. Because the way he would go out there, and even when he wasn't, he, he almost arrested for a short while. But in that time, he, he showed that you could just go out there and just be this huge, just colossal jerk. Completely contrast to the way that people thought you were, and the people would react. It was like what happened in his comedy routines, that he'd just go out there and provoke an emotion. Because that's all entertainment is, provoking an emotion. You don't have to make people laugh for it to be entertainment. I personally try to make them laugh because I can't be that serious.
You come here with your family to cheer the good guys, boo the bad guys, and see good storytelling in the way of vicious fighting. Old school is what we like to call it. Um, that's just what we like to do in uh, our independent wrestling right here. We've been running real good for eight years now. My aspirations for wrestling do not involve me going to any of the big name federations. I've heard stories of how they treat their, their uh, wrestlers and what kind of goes on behind the scenes in locker rooms. It's like, I really don't want to be part of that. I like old school because it's a tight knit group. They're, everyone is friends with each other there and they treat each other with respect. While you know, I was to go to someplace else, say WWE, I'd have to start all over. I'd have to learn everybody's faces, I'd have to learn all their names, and I'd have to earn their respect. And in a locker room, that side that can kind of part of Honestly, I believe I am in a place I like with my wrestling. I am in a company that likes me, I am that I like back. I'm around a crowd that, for the most part, is one of the best crowds I've ever seen. I mean, the place is usually packed, and you can't really say that about everywhere you go. I've, I've been to a few companies where it's maybe been just a handful in the, the crowd, but it really just depends on the territory. territory. Old school is... I really can't see myself going many other places. Come up here to Canada. Well, if we'd let you in, but we won't because we suck. Moose! Think about that! Your country doesn't have that! Oh, 